Now, today on the farm, I want to do another experiment. See, what you are looking at here, all these, see, they are catfish, but they are not juveniles. These are native catfish from the creek. This one, the scientific name is Clarias batracus. They call it a jaro in Yoruba, and they call it a viware in uh, Bini. Now, this, they are live ones I bought about. This is about 1,500 pieces that I got. There, they are selling a dozen, 15 pieces for about 3,000 naira. So I got 100 dozens. Their own dozen is 15 pieces. Now, what I want to do is, when I was younger, my dad used to buy this fish, big, big ones from the village. But these days, I noticed there are no big ones anymore. Then I asked, they said, big ones don't come out anymore. So I bought these 1,500 pieces. I want to put them in one pond on the farm. I want to see if they will grow big. Though they are carnivorous, I don't have any more space on the farm again. I only have this tilapia pond, but my tilapia is already big. So I believe this catfish can coexist with this tilapia because they are small. Look at them. Even though they are carnivorous in nature, they just have a very small mouth. Now, this catfish can be a little bit dangerous. You need to be careful because if they stung you, you would think you've been beaten or stung by, you would think you've been stung by a scorpion because it can be painful. Now I want to pour them into this pond, so we wait for like um, eight months because my tilapia will still be here for more than a year. I want to see if they will increase in size because this fish is the sweetest catfish. This is our native catfish and we need to preserve our own native catfish. So this is my own little experiment that I want to do by putting them here and feed them with catfish intestines over time and see if they will grow big. They are, what you are looking at here, they might be looking small. You'll be surprised that this fish may be over five or six months in the wild before they were captured like this. They lay eggs, they reproduce on their own. Yeah. Putting them alongside tilapia. I am out of three ponds on the farm, just removing the dead ones. See? I just hope that they will survive because our home water here is fresher than the one from the creek. You see, look at the way they are behaving. We have a whole lot of fish in Nigeria. Only that there are no laws guarding against overfishing, even in my place. They just take this fish from the river. Anything, any sizes ready for a table, you'll just consume it. See them? Let's hope they don't die. 